Hi everyone, welcome to Excel Highway. Today I'm going to show you a very easy and simple VBA code that's supposed to help you copy information from one source or one sheet to the other within the same workbook. And this is a very simple code, of course you can build on it and improve its functionality and add more options. So I have here a very simple table with countries, regions, sales rep, model, date, sales, and forecast. It's just some uh, dummy data that I created. And I built the code that I can copy the rows based on um, filtering the region. And I'm asking the user for the name of the region. I mean, you can build this in a way that the user has to key in the data over here or the filter before, but this is just what I came up with. And I want to go over the code, and then I'll show you uh, the button and how it works. So there's basically two parts here to the code. There's the main function, I call it copy rows, and there's the, the uh, internal function or, or sub called filter and move data. So copy rows, I'm declaring to, to um, uh, you know, uh, parameters for the worksheets, WS as in source, WD as in destination, filter as the variant, that's what I'm going to collect from the user. And then I use the input box, filter equals input box, which region to copy, that's going to be the text that you're going to see. Then I'm defining what are those worksheets, so WS is source, WD is destination, and then I'm going to call that function below, which requires four parameters. What is the source? What is the destination? Which column are you filtering? And what is the name that you're filtering? And in the end, if all goes well, I'm, I'm, I'm pop-uping a message box data copy just so you know everything worked out. The filter and move data, so it requires four parameters, two worksheets, an integer, and a variant. So first off, I'm clearing the destination. Okay, I want to always clear it before I copy. Um, again, you can change that if you want to use, you know, like a last row option and just build more and more data. That's also okay. Then I'm going to use auto filter. So with WS range, just you know, huge range. Um, again, this could be, you know, improved and you can really define the range with parameters, but for all intents and purposes, this will work. Then I'm going to apply auto filter on the field, which is the number of number two, in this case, region. So it's based on whatever parameter I key in. And the criteria is the name, which in this case is uh, the filter, the name that I'm looking for. So once that, that uh, sheet is filtered out, I'm going to copy and using special cells type visible, it's only going to copy what's visible. And simple paste to the destination. The application cut mode false, it's going to eliminate those ant lines that we have. And then I'm just going to cancel whatever filters I have, just so it's a fresh start. Okay, so it's a very simple code. Let's, let's have a look and see how it works. So, of course, you normally I put the button over here, but I just, you know, since I'm sharing the screen. So I'm going to click on copy rows. Then I have that question that we saw before. It's coming from here, which region to copy. Okay. And then I'm going to say Great Lakes. Click OK. And if all goes well, I get this message. And if I go to destination, I see in my region, excuse me, just the Great Lakes. Okay, um, let's now do something that doesn't exist, AA. Still says data copied, but nothing was copied. Okay, and if I now key in central, central planes, then you should see it as well. Okay. So that's it. It's a very simple code. Very, I think, very easy to follow. Of course, you can also add the uh, application screen updating false and true if you want to speed up the process. But since this is very fast and simple, I didn't see 
uh, why I need to do that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, subscribe, share, leave comments. And uh, if you want uh, to receive this template, I'd be happy to share it with you. Just let me know. Take care.